Today's topic is mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is mercy when he says wa arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin that Allah says to his messenger we did not send you except that you are mercy for everybody. Every single person that exists in this world can experience the mercy of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by knowing his character, knowing how he was, by receiving the beautiful lessons of his example in his life ayatul salam. But one of the things that I always found so interesting was how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam guided him and trained the Messenger of Allah والسلام, to be merciful, but never as an afterthought. See, sometimes we think that mercy, good character, being nice to people, good manners, that they're just extra credit, like fluff on top, you know? That the real stuff, the real religious practice is to worship and to be devoted and to have ibadah. And of course, that's all there. But what we find is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always join together concepts of worship with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and will always mention nearby somewhere the idea of how his relationship with people matters just as much. Because if we can't display mercy to each other, then how are we going to be motivated to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? We find this a lot. One of the examples is in Surah Al-Shu'ara. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala instructs the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he says to him, that remind people and tell people not to worship anything else besides Allah. That your goal in life is to establish a true belief in one God. That nothing else deserves your devotion besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa shortly after, وَخْفِضْ جَنَاحَكَ لِمَنْ اتَّبَعَكَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ To, and the literal translation is to lower the wing of mercy, lower your wing of mercy, to those who follow you from the believers. Now, lowering the wing is an interesting image, right? When you imagine the lowering of a wing, you're picturing like a, a, a mother or a father bird covering up their young, right? Masking them, pr protecting them, uh, shielding them from the harsh elements. Part of mercy is to make sure that people that you are around are not the recipient of your harshness, but they are the recipient of your protection, of your love, of your compassion, of your forgiveness, right? To not hold grudges against people, to not make people feel ashamed when they're around you, but that when people are near you, those especially who are closest to you, your family and friends, that they feel the mercy emanating from your speech and from your behavior. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam here is being taught that your job as a messenger is not just to teach people about believing in Allah, praying five times a day, fasting Ramadan, giving zakat, making hajj. Those five pillars are essential. They are the foundation of faith. But in those bricks, there is a mortar of good character. And if you have bricks with no mortar, the wall is weak. But bricks being held together by mortar makes the wall strong and stable and firm. The mortar of akhlaq, of good etiquette, is as important to the wall as the bricks are. And so the Prophet ﷺ is constantly reminded to make sure that you display mercy to people. Make sure that you show people that compassion and graciousness. Think about the relationships in your own life. There have been many times that you and I have said something to somebody and what we were saying was correct. We were, selling, we were telling them something that was truthful, but the way in which we said it was so empty from mercy, so void of mercy, that the words that we uttered with our lips and our tongue fell on deaf ears. They could not, they could not listen to what we were saying because of how we were saying it. So this reminder of mercy is a incredibly, incredibly full of wisdom reminder from Allah that if the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to achieve his job as a messenger to all people, that part of that methodology of delivering the message is to make sure that he never forgets that mercy is necessary. We are all human beings, we all have hearts, and we all need mercy. We ask Allah Ta'ala to make us bringers of mercy and recipients of mercy. Ameen. Qalam is dedicated to the mission of making the knowledge of this beautiful religion of Islam accessible to everyone. From the millions of people listening to the podcast, to the hundreds of thousands of people watching these videos, to the tens of thousands of people that are taking online classes and so much more work that Qalam is doing, we here at Qalam are committed to continuing this good work. And this is where you come in. We're asking you to partner with us to secure your Sadaqah Jariyah 
of all the people that have benefited from Qalam, continue to learn from Qalam, and inshallah, in the future, will continue to learn and benefit from all the work that Qalam, inshallah, will continue to do. Please go to supportqalam.com and donate generously. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.